everybody, it's Marcy. I just realized I forgot to get something out. Wait one second. Okay, good. I don't think anybody signed on yet. Okay, so, hi Bets. So today we are going to make something that sounded so good to me. Apple cheddar cornbread. I've never made it before. Another new thing, but um, it's pretty much uh, by the book on this. I'm only gonna make half a batch. We have a whole batch in our um, on our recipe blog, but and it makes a nine inch round pan. But I'm gonna try using these again. <laughs> they didn't really show up when I made cookies in them. I'm not sure that they'll show up now either, but we'll try it. We'll give it a shot. Um, so I wanted to make little individual muffin ones and stuff like that. So let's get started with this. Let's see. Okay, so this is our gluten-free white chocolate cornbread mix. It is delicious. I'm going to actually, well, I don't know if I should promise anything yet. I'm going to try and make something with it next week. So um, the first thing we're going to do is mix um, one egg. Whoops. That's why you should put it in something else. But that's okay. We started with this. Um, one egg and then two-thirds of a cup milk. Okay. And look, I'm measuring two-thirds of a cup milk. Um, what else? And this calls for applesauce. So I'm going, and you know what? I was out of applesauce. So I took up, I took a couple of apples and smushed, this is like an apple and a half, if you can believe that. It makes a fourth of a cup of applesauce, in case you ever needed to know that. Okay, so I just smushed it up a little. I know it, my grandma used to always make applesauce and she would make it with um, uh, cinnamon and sugar and some lemon juice, but um, I, I wasn't sure that that would go so great with this. So I just did a little bit of water apple and a little bit of sugar okay we got to mix that up then i really sort of want to scrape this out a little bit better okay i'm gonna get all that applesauce because it was not the easiest thing to make okay next i am going to measure one and a third cup of our white chocolate cornbread mix and I would not normally put it in something that just had something wet in it. But I got my little scraper to get it out with. Okay, there's one and a thirds. Okay, yep. I can see it all totally stuck in there. But we'll get it out. Okay, so mix, oh no, the dog thought somebody was knocking. Oh my gosh, it was me, just me. Okay, so we're gonna mix that and then the other things we're gonna add to this are, we're gonna mix in some chopped up apples and I, I chopped them sort of small because I'm putting them in like these mini cup, uh, the little cupcake things, and if I have any extra, I'm gonna put in the little tiny mini containers. Um, oh look, this is so funny, I never even realized this. Our cornbread even has this, has um, some suggestions for that. Muffins, bread, and I'm not sure what that is. That's a picture of chefs, help me out if you know what that's a picture of, the first picture on there. Okay, so then we're gonna fold in some cheddar cheese um, it calls for half of a recipe is about a cup, but I'm supposed to save some of it to put on top. Now this, I mean, I love apples and cheese, so this to me just sounds fabulous. So um, after I do this, you cook it at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Let's see if we should just pour it a little for 15 minutes and then um, sprinkle the tops with a little bit more cheddar cheese and uh, cook it another five minutes or so, five to 10 minutes. I don't think these are gonna need as long because they're not, 
you know, they're not a whole nine inch thing. Yeah, I had a feeling that I was gonna have a lot extra for these mini muffin cups too. Okay, let's get some in these. So we can have the plain and peanut M&M things. I'm sorry, I can't see if anybody's commenting or anything right now. I'll look at it in a second. Okay, oh, this looks so good. Okay, and I will hopefully show you what this looks like unless it comes out as terribly as the last ones did. They didn't come out, they didn't come out bad. They just didn't come out with the M showing and that's what I really wanted. Okay, then for these mini muffins, I'm gonna just put a little bit in there. Don't wanna to put too much or it'll just pop out the top. That, this is why I cut the apples so small because I was thinking that uh, I wouldn't fit any in there. I don't know if you got to see Charlie just make a little cameo, but she did. For any of those Charlie fans out there like Becca's uh, friends. Okay, this actually, for half a batch, this actually made a really decent amount. I think I'm gonna switch to this. I think I can get one more out of there. And here, it's gonna go right in that one. Whoops, made a little bit of a mess. Okay. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, I'm going to keep it the same. Hey, Caroline. I'm going to keep it the same temperature, Bets, um, just because I, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to watch them. I'll let you know on here what I end up doing. Um, but we, uh, I guess I had to wipe this off a little so we don't have any little burn stuff on the edges. Um, Okay, so that's that. I will show you the picture when it is done. Um, I hope they are as good as they sound. I love our cornbread and I love um, apples and, and cheddar cheese, so why not? Uh, so I had this great thing from my friend Gloria, again, of course, has these great ideas she puts up for kids. And this one was um, glow in the dark bubbles. How much fun was that? My niece who is 22, Ooh, I should know how old she is, 22, 23, something like that. When I was talking about it, she said, oh, that sounds so fun. So take a glow stick, do not let the kids break it, <laughs> but you break it open and pour it into bubble concentrate or into, you know, the bubble container and um, wait till night and blow the bubble. Well, start it at night too, but blow the bubbles. And how much fun is that? You'd have glow in the dark bubbles. Don't let them eat it, but I guess you wouldn't let them eat bubbles anyway, so. Um, Okay, I think that's all I've got for today. I'm getting really fast at some of these. I've got, and in fact, I was gonna make a watermelon cucumber salad today, but my niece uh, is coming by tonight and she is highly allergic to watermelon. And um, we're going to socially distance and all of that, but she still will be close enough that I don't wanna have watermelon out. So that's all for today. Please be kind to one another and respect one another, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.